Hey guys, uh, I'm gonna show you now how to fix, uh, diagnose and, uh, and fix the alternator in uh, Ford Galaxy uh, 2006 to 2015 is the same, uh, two, 2 liters turbo diesel, 140 horsepower, or 103 kW. Uh, so uh, put it because not many people actually explain it how to do it. So uh, the battery didn't charge, uh, died, I charged it and uh, uh, check with the multimeter that it wasn't charging. So uh, this is the, the alternator, actually taken off. Uh, some people said that you have to take uh, the wheel off, which I did, and it helped actually just with the with the one screw, which was difficult to take from this one from here. But uh, then I found actually you could do it just uh, from a top. It's actually not too bad. It took me about uh, maybe two hours to take it all together. But maybe if you have more spanners and uh, specific tools, then you can do it uh, without the attacking wheel off. Uh, so this bit have to be taken off. That's a petrol. I didn't have to, as you see, disconnect it completely. And uh, the tensioner uh, is aut uh, automatic, not like unlock some cars where you have to loosen it up. So this one, as you can see, moves up and down. So you can uh, move it up and uh, add the lock to, to help you. I actually didn't do it and it still worked. So now I'm gonna show you how I uh, diagnose the, the alternator. I just changed the brushes, but because the the brushes uh, uh, are together with the the whole module, so this is the the old brushes. This is a new one. Uh, cost me about think, 26 pounds. Um, bought it on uh, on an eBay. That's in, in UK arrived uh, very fast uh, so that's was pretty easy to take it off uh, that's how they they can't go and if you look uh, initially at the the old brushes and the uh, all the system it doesn't look like it's broken the new one comes out exactly the same way uh, but I, now we're gonna show you how to actually uh, identify your old brushes before you purchase the new ones uh, that they actually broken uh, so set your multimeter to 20,000 kilo uh, ohms and if we look at the old brushes so you've got the uh, two two bits moving so the the bottom one If you check it to the this bit, it should go to zero. So it goes there direct, basically directly to the to the ground of the the minus of of the car, so the, the lower one. But the upper one, if you check it uh, uh, with this actually broken one, the upper one doesn't go anywhere. It doesn't if whatever you check it doesn't. Uh, check you and uh, tell you anything so either this connection is broken somewhere here and actually a lot of people say uh, about the uh, also Mondeo is also applicable because they have very same same uh, alternator so this breaks somewhere here and this this specific one uh, so it's common problem on the Ford from 2006 2015 but if you look at the, this uh, brushes those brushes so the bottom one again is exactly the same it works it goes to zero so. So if you check it to this place, it goes zero ohms, which is basically direct. But the top one, if you check to this, it says it goes to 10,000 ohms. Can you zoom it a little bit here so you can make sure that you can see it's about 10,000 ohms. Uh, and as you see, in the, uh, I put a minus on this one and a plus here on the multimeter. If I change it uh, opposite, it should not uh, indicate anything. You see, it's Oh, nice, no, also 10,000 ohms, so whatever uh, way it goes. So, but as you see on this uh, broken one, whatever, I go exactly the same way and doesn't indicate anything. Which, and actually, when I was play, late, late uh, earlier, kind of kind of pushing it a little bit, sometimes it kind of is sticked in a short connection, which is uh, indicates that it's somewhere here is kind of but Usually, the brushes just wear out and they go very short, but as you can see, those looks okay, but not okay. So I hope it's uh, helpful for you. Also, when you change it, uh, I would recommend to change the belt at the same time. The belt costs about, uh, you know, eight pounds or euro. 
uh, and it's definitely worth changing at the same time. It can be a little bit longer or shorter, but uh, because you have an automatic tensioner, then uh, as long as it's kind of within limit, it will be fine. Yeah, this is the other bit I have to take off. So I hope it's helpful and good luck. Give me a comment and thumbs up if you, it was helpful for you.